Hi everyone. Okay, on the Facebook group, somebody asked about um, how can we change the about section, uh, the the labels, basically the texts, so that they basically change depending if you are um, a company or an individual. So I'm going to show you. Um, basically, I'm showing you the end result and how to do it. But if you apply PHP code, JavaScript code, and all the other there are other ways of doing this. You'll end up, which is what happened to me, breaking the page, uh, breaking the JavaScript, so you'll only be able to see on the console if you're a developer, breaking all the things. So the simplest way, the simplest way that I was able to find is the following. So we got this member. Okay, this member uh, is a company. Okay, uh, if we go to the member profile here. Um, and we go to actions, quick edit. We'll see that right now this member is a company. If I change it to individual and I save that and I go to the to the members dashboard, you can for now you can actually see the about us here. If you click on manage listing, we can see the about us here. And if I click on here, it would it would on the on the checklist wizard, it would say about us. But since I change it to to dash um, to to individual, it should go to about me. So now you can see that it says about me here, about me here, and if I click here, it's gonna say about me here too. So there are three places that you gotta take into consideration for that. The trick that I did for that to actually work was the following: you type here on the on the you got a settings text labels, you type about. Okay, and then you're gonna get whatever it was there before. So I, I I don't know. I'm not gonna reset this, but before I'm guessing the full value for this one was about me. For this one was about me, uh, and there's the third one down here. It was also about me. Um, this is the wizard one. The wizard one is the one that I'm talking about up here about me. So what I did was I put the about because it's it's the common text that's going to be showing on those two cases. And then I created my own little HTML unique uh, element. I put a custom about class here. Um, and I'm doing it with simple HTML because if I try to do it with PHP, and in the case of PHP with an if statement, all hell will break loose. So it, the the sanitation, that, that's, a, that's a way of you uh, cleaning up the value of a variable that's done for the text labels is it gets to a point where basically if I put too much PHP or a specific way of putting the PHP it just breaks. You are able to put some PHP by only basically calling a, a, a variable through through PHP. Here you can see one variable being called. Uh, here's another one being called a function uh, being called, but it just that's that's it. You don't see an if statement. Here's another uh, function being called, a variable being called, um, and here well, by default it just says it's calling uh, a variable, but not, not an if statement is what I mean. So in our case, let's do our about, or about me. Let me see if it shows with the about me. Those three cases, yes, beautiful. So here are the three cases that we're gonna talk about that one. I'm not gonna do it with PHP because it just breaks the page. Uh, so I'm doing it with a simple HTML and a little class in it. So I put this little class there, and that's all that you need to do on these three cases for the dashboard. So once you go to, and you save this, you go to settings, design settings, and then custom CSS head. And here's where we put the PHP code. So here you can see a line that says that this is, looks really horrible. Okay, so uh, it, yeah, it gets, it's a nightmare there. But here you can basically see what I'm trying to do. So if in the variable that you need to check for that individual or company type is uh, user data listen type. So this is an array. Uh, listen type equals individual. Then it will basically add after the element custom about inside the content of it, the word me, space me. And or else you'll just add the us us uh, text there. So what you're getting is the about, 
And then depending on the type of listing type, the, the type of, if it's a company or individual, it will add the word me here. So like if you right click this, and you're a developer and you try to uh, look at the element here, you're just gonna see the about. See, just in, in about there. And you're like, but where did, where did that me come from? It came from the after with this, with this, basically with a pseudo element, the after. And you have the content and that's it. That, the, this part is just for developers, but for the actual owner, you just need to do this. Okay. That's a, that's a single quote there, just in case. Uh, and then go to settings, design settings, and then you put this specific code in there. I'm gonna put this in the description of the, um, of the video, so you can just copy paste it. And I'm also gonna do put this part there to, just in case you can copy paste it too. Hopefully that, that will help you and you can test it live on, on your website. Thank you and think positive.